Padre fans, type 2 diabetes rescued by keto fans, and super curve honing fans. Bill here on Saturday, January the 7th. I'm going to do a shave and a little bit of a talk. Uh, I've been practicing shaving much more regularly uh, for the simple reason that um, I... So far, I do plan to keep shaving this part of my face, which I had not done in, uh, I had not shaved this in 30-some uh, years, maybe 40 since I had shaved it with a blade. And uh, so I took that off. Uh, I had had a more of a beard for many, many years, and I trimmed that down to a circle beard, and I never shaved my mustache uh, and I'm, uh, learning, um, and, and I decided to go through a process that, that, that I had found in lots of different areas helpful, uh, in learning to shave. And that was to, uh, be consistent and repetitive with... Uh, the tools you use and to take special note to the adjustments in your style, your technique, your practice that you're making. It's particularly helpful for uh, very new shavers to uh, wet shavers coming from uh, uh, cartridges and that sort of thing. Uh, to double edge, single edge, open edge, whatever, uh, because there is there is there is a difference that you have to learn. It doesn't have the 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 style like the cartridge. You just put it in, and you know the machine does all the work for you. Anyhow, what I decided to do was use uh, for a prolonged period. I don't know how long that's going to be. One razor. Uh, and same soap, not the same, uh, it's the same type of soap. I, I'm a big fan of Sterling today. I'm using uh, Pichenza. Uh So I'll change the, the scent of the soap, but I'm going to use pretty much all Sterling soap. I'm going to pretty much stick with one brush. This is a, a, a Badger brush uh, that you can get Sterling. It's For the money, it's, it's really a great brush. Um, I don't know if I don't know if they get it from Yachi or whatever. And the tool I'm using is uh, one of my newer uh, TIs. Uh, this is the, uh, it's unmarked, uh, but I did buy this because I just just really, really loved the horn scales on it and the uh, the color and the horn. And, you know, I just I just had to have it. And I wanted one with the, with the French port. I have a rounded point. I have a, a barber's notch. I think it's a barber's notch, anyhow. Anyhow, I wanted this. This has been honed up uh, on uh, the super curve honing method. And my idea is, my plan is to continue to shave. And I've been trying to shave, if not every day, every other day. And today's two days. Uh, And work on what I'm doing and learn uh, what seems to be the pattern that works works best for me. Uh, this particular razor, I decided to probably had about five shaves on it. And it was still that's something here I've I've learned. This irritation was. I need to uh, practice the stretching there. So I've been watching this. There was, there was uh, some comments. I think I mentioned in one of my other videos that there were some reports that uh, with the super curve honing, there was a potential, and I could understand a potential, 
because you, you are thinning and hollowing that bevel out to you're pushing the limits of what the steel can handle. And uh, some reports of, of that the edge would chip. Now, I'm not sure if the edge was chipped in in uh, stropping because I only use a, a convex strop or whether, uh, you know, whether somebody's beard is that tough. OK, now uh, the one the one issue was with a uh, with a gold dollar razor that I'd sent out. The guy liked it and he tried with it and he he enjoyed it. But he said after one shave, he could look at there, and I, I didn't see it. Uh, and I won't really see it because I'm gonna have he's he's a JNAC guy, and I'm uh, and he hones hones old flat, and I'm gonna have him hone that up on his JNets. I've never tried a JNAT edge, but I would really like to. So. So it's not something I'll be able to evaluate where his complaint was, but I'll uh, certainly about when that razor comes back, I'll certainly be able to see, well, you know, you know, it was a gold dollar. Um, and uh, I don't care what people say. Gold dollars are iffy. They're very soft steel. Uh, they're iffy. They're, they're just more unknown than anything else. And, and they're good. They're great tools to have for honing practice. So I'll, I'll shave with that. I'll get to experience that, and then I'll be able to evaluate. Uh, I took did take a look at this under under. I didn't go under the scope, but I looked under glass to see. I didn't see any chips in this. But uh, I wanted to touch it up. And this is where it kind of ties in. With uh, with my practicing the shave, is uh, in working around here. I had noticed that that coming against the grain, it seemed to be uh, a little. little less capable to cut than I would like. And I even did something that, for a check, not something I'm gonna do on a regular basis, but I did pull out uh, Artist Club uh, Feather, a, uh, Feather AC Artist Club with a, a professional super in there. I think there's like one or two shaves on that, but and it's they're known to me to be to be good shavers for at least five. And uh, I thought that I uh, 
could improve a little bit, okay? Generally speaking, um, I don't think I, I don't think necessarily anybody really, people have made the claim that they sharpen uh, better than those particular blades. I just never used one. And I know I don't sharpen that well, but I get close enough that I can enjoy uh, this part of, of of the hobby, the honing and the and the true straight razors. Uh, but I use that as a cross check, and then I do occasionally shave with it. Um, if it was if it was for me, if it was, and you can see I got a little bit of red spots around here. That's where I'm working. And I don't know if it's because I just never shaved shaved that. Uh, or whether I got some work to do on my technique. But that's why I'm sticking with this. So I uh, decided to do something for the first time that, it, that you know I didn't did not totally rehone that razor, but I did uh, do something that uh, I most of the people, not all the people, but most of the people uh, doing convex honing or super curve honing finish on a flat stone. I have not done it yet. Okay, so what I did on that one, I decided. I decided, well, what I want to do is I want to finish on, uh, uh, I want to just go back to my finishing stone and then run through the strop progression. And uh, I did that on the on the curvy side, the, the shape side of the Suhira 20K. Then I turned it over and I worked it a little bit on the flat. What I'm unable to do is document uh, that that cha one single change has made, made a difference. And you can see me experimenting around. This, hopefully this won't be too terrible prolonged shave. Uh, my goal is to get more proficient at it. So I do think I picked up the performance of this. I'm not sure if it's finishing, the last finishing stone, a few couple of swipes on flat or whether the, just some refreshing was needed. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'll go along further on that, but it's not something that I'll certainly avoid in the future. I will say that this piece was a little bit noisier on on stropping and that sort of thing. Which is an indicator of a, a more balanced uh, honing.
and a more thinner thinning of the end of the blade, particularly in this case, since I'm only working the bevel, I'm thinning the bevel. Some of these things get to where they really, really, um, for me, my experience, these TI-7.8s, not those, but the 6.8s are the ones that will ring more, uh, as well as uh, the thinner ground German razors. So my other reason for doing this is I wanted to get some sort of a longevity thing uh, so that when my uh, new custom razor comes in made with Apex Ultra Steel, which is known on, on uh, the knives that people have used that for to make that uh, out of that steel. Uh, you can get a hardening much harder. So uh, I'm anxious to see how that works and how that performs. And I'm, that may be another one that, you know, I'd like to have my technique down before that time comes. Now, uh, one of the things uh, I picked up, there's been a couple of small comments on, uh, uh, tests. Some people have asked about my test, which is the packing peanut test. And uh, uh, Martin Wood did a uh, great little talk. He's a big fan of the uh, hanging hair test. And I enjoyed that. And he demonstrated it well. which was something that I really have never, even today, I didn't have terrible good success with that. I had mixed results on that. And that's, that'd be an interesting thing. I should make, I'll probably make a video where I'll just talk about the, the packing peanut test. And, uh, but uh, in the end result, uh, in, in early stuff, that razor before I touched it would still do the packing peanut as would, as would this piece. Okay, neither would do a hanging hair test, <laughs> okay? And so I went through the hunting procedure and I could not, I, you know, I brought it back to, you know, uh, where I liked it on, on the packing peanut test, okay? And then I think I picked up another hair, a different hair, okay? And then all of a sudden, I'm getting uh, favorable results, good hanging hair tests on that razor. And then I'm all of a sudden getting hanging hair tests on this one. So now this one was a little bit better. And that's why I say it in any test that I've had, you know, these things, you know, uh, uh, they're my target. They're, they're, they're where I want to go. Some people don't like them. And that's the beauty of straight razor shaving is you figure out what it is you want to do and what you like. And you go after that and you can tweak things around. Uh, so, uh, but uh, I'm real, real happy with how this one, how this one came out. my goal was to, is it conditioning my skin in here? I don't know. Um, the part of the reason I'm doing this is, is, is the growth in wet shaving is going to come from the big bearded guys that uh, all of a sudden do like I do when you lose, when you lose the fuzz, 
um, you find, gee, I really kind of like how my face feels. Even though the missus wanted me to um, grow the mustache back, I don't think I will. And that part right there, that is much, much better now. Uh, it's the toughest part. It's the toughest part. I think most people would agree. But the chin and the upper lip is uh, one of the hardest things to, to shave well, regardless of what tool you use. But this will be an interesting thing for me. So for me on uh, these TI razors, how long can I go before I need to rehome? I know there's lots and lots of people who uh, go on some really, really extended periods with with uh, blades, 50, 75, 100 shaves. But for me, I was trying to get that with the heel of this razor, which is probably not quite as sharp. And it was a little tuggy. Might even got the, a weeper from that. And that goes through it a little bit easier. It's, it's not the most comfortable thing. And some people that uh, have such tough beards that they really can't even go against the grain at all. I'm grateful that that's not me. And go in for a little bit of clean, but I know, I know, long hurry you told me not to chase the baby on, uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit more there since I'm touching up a couple, couple other places. Because I'm enjoying it. So, uh, tomorrow's Zoom call on the shaving cod ray. I'll get, hopefully get this 
video up in time t so that those of you see it sign up for the uh the zoom call and i don't even think you need if you have a smartphone or a ipad or something i don't even think you need to have the zoom app i think you just click click on the invite link and it really comes up and sends you there So yeah, I got a lot of blood along there. So is that because I've never shaved that? <laughs> or is that because I'm sloppy? I'm gonna chalk it up to uh, having never shaved that because There's new areas where, where I seem to be, uh, the new shade, shade there is where I seem to be uh, getting weepers. I don't know if, if, uh, if I'm doing this wrong with trying to uh, make sure I stay on top of the frequency of my shaves and not giving my skin a break. Uh, if you catch this and you have an opinion on that, be, feel free to comment in on that. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to change. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to discontinue because uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, uh, take the time and I want to learn. And, and I'm enjoying that. And I'm really enjoying uh, just without the, even though it was a small and sparse facial hair, I'm enjoying just the feel of my skin and moving it around without uh, and eating and not having or blowing your nose and not having uh, the hair there to deal with. So alum, rinse it off dry. Uh, I've been pretty consistent with using uh, the Sterling aftershave balm either. This is a menthol unscented. Uh, there's another one in there I have. I forget what flavor that is, but I'll use a little bit of that uh, to treat treat the skin. that menthol under the nose <laughs> so I would say it's it's a delightful shave I'm uh, getting to learn to like being clean shaven if you're a bearded guy out there uh, consider it. it's a lot of fun 
Uh, okay, what else do I got here? Uh, I also have Piacenza Aftershave. Aftershave Splash from Sterling. Uh, it's homage to uh, Parma, I think, or something like that. Uh, and then uh, the uh, I do have um, the um, I think I'll do do a powder cannon. I mean, you're supposed to use a towel or a brush. And just, I'm, I'm getting to like, just, just kind of uh, rubbing it in with my fingers. Uh, works for me. So, and the, uh, uh, the cologne will be the fine Italian citrus, which is in the same uh, scent profile as So that's the shave. Um, <clears throat> so far so good I'm getting better at it a little bit less but still not perfect uh, and uh, practice makes prefect so uh, there's the stuff I think I introduced all the stuff I'm 30 minutes in uh, if uh, if you're of the mindset to get on the zoom call we'll catch you there if not I <clears throat> uh, hope you all have a great week and uh, I'll not sure when, but I'll get to a, and I'll do a short video on that packing peanut because there was a number of things in that and, and uh, I may touch on the hanging hair test. The key for me is, is on your straight razors, okay? And I am a firm believer that uh, if you're gonna straight razor shave, you should learn how to sharpen your own razors to your satisfaction, okay? Now, because if you trust somebody else, even me, if you send me your razors, what happens when you get a razor from me and it was an off day or not quite there or whatever? And it's, you know, because even I, well, I do, I'm sure everybody does. You have a razor, you hone it up and then you shave with it. And that's where, you know, the shave test comes in as being the ultimate goal. Okay. But what happens, you know, who hones razors and then shaves with them all? Uh, before they go out the door. I imagine some guys try. I imagine uh, there's probably some guys that lie about it. Okay, but um, uh, what happens when you spend the money for a razor? And, well, it doesn't shave quite as well. Well, most of the time, I would think most of these guys will rehone it. Okay, but you got the cost of sending it, you know, and the cost to send it somewhere and send it back is, is probably pushing uh, the cost of what it costs to hone it in the first place. And uh, I mean, that's okay if you don't wanna do that, but I am an advocate that you sure should learn one of the methods to hone. I just happened to, to uh, uh, pick what I'll call super curve honing. And uh, 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 I'm enjoying that. So uh, in that honing, how do you determine when the razor, because I've seen guys go through a whole stone progression and a whole series of how they're, they're honing. And aside from the early on of set the bevel and use a tomato or use the thumb pad test or drag on the, you know, one of the tests to do that, they don't really, really have uh, 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 a lot of people don't have a real, real effective method. There's people that have uh, a select amount of hair that's all the same and they have developed this procedure for by which that they evaluate razors with hairs. I just, I just didn't like it, okay? And I came across the packing peanut quite by accident, although I did find out 
uh, after I did it that there were people that were using styrofoam and packing peanuts in sharpening knives long before I was. So I'll get a video, uh, a little video on that. So until then, I uh, hope everybody has a has a great week. Hope everybody if uh, had a great new year and you have a look forward to a continuing uh, beneficial uh, new year. So uh, this is Bill out.